Hi there. In the last video I made a joiner's mallet very much in the style of my old mallet with an oak head, an ash handle and a few different details. This time I am going to use another of the chunks of oak that I split out of that log and make a very different type of mallet. This one will be carved entirely out of this block. Before I start refining this shape, removing the facets and turning it round, I need something on the other end to aim for. So I will just line it up so that it follows the grain as closely as possible. I think that will be it. Alright, I got a very slight dome to the top of the mallet head. I may refine that a bit more later. Now I want to make some rough cuts to establish the handle. It can always be made thinner, so I will start like that, see how it feels. I have decided I don't like how fat this is. I think it's fine uh, up here, but down at the base where I will probably be holding it like this a lot, I think I would like it a bit narrower, uh, more of a sharp taper here. I'll just remove about this much, I think, and see how it feels after that. That is a lot better, feels much nicer holding it this way now and uh, the striking angle now that it's a bit more tapered feels a lot more in line with the blow. At this point honestly it's a usable mallet but I want it to look a little bit nicer so this handle while fully functional needs some more shaping. And that's it. So all that remains is to hit it with some linseed oil.
and there it is very happy with the size the weight the grain this is really cool with this, uh, this dark line here the wavy line on the on the end and uh, on the back of it here as well a lot simpler in some ways than the joiner's mallet only one piece no joinery but it had its own challenges mostly in being so difficult to hold on to the rounder and stranger the shape gets the less suited it is to uh, to a traditional workbench obviously this style of mallet is most often done on a lathe i don't have a lathe and i wanted to see if i could do it without one it's not super convenient a few moments were frustrating but it can be done if you want a mallet like this don't be put off if you don't have a lathe it is perfectly possible to make this style without any rotating machinery yeah let's chop some dovetails <laughs> 